Hey Sham and Sadia, just want to have a quick flyover um, of the property. The front you can see I haven't really done too much with other than put the driveway and a path around to the side. We are then proposing to putting a gate on the side of the house to um, block off where the pool equipment is going to go. There's some steppers going through a small garden bed space in front of that study window, um, study window there. And then there's the pool and the spa. You can see there's that little um, uh, cantilevered shade structure that comes out over the barbecue and over a little bit of seating space inside the um, inside the pool fence area there. Um, and here's this uh, this space um, that's within the easement along the back. And as I described, um, you know, getting these things across, uh, you know, from a permit point of view is, is kind of challenging. And so when we when we do our submission to council, we'll simply just take that off, uh, and it can be something that can be done at a later date. To the side of the house, I've got a shed which I've actually put on the side of the house as opposed to the fence, but we can swap that around. Um, that window there, really want to put some screening along the, the fence so you're not looking at those um, two-storey units uh, on the other side of the boundary. And of course the garage comes out to the, um, to the boundary there. And um, so really just going to have a, 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 a closer look at the pool and uh, what it is I think we should do around the, the pool here. We need to do this protective works up against the, um, the garage. The, the board piers are about 400, it has a capping beam on top of them, and that kind of dictates how far uh, um, the proximity of the pool to the next door neighbour's garage. So the pool's only two metres wide. I've brought it all the way down to where the kitchen wall juts out, and I've, I've lined the, the pool fence up with that. And you will need some space inside the, um, the pool fence there. Now, What's going to become really obvious soon is that you'll see that the outlook from the kitchen looks onto that paling fence, which I'd really want to get rid of. So I've left it open at this stage, but I want to just really demonstrate to you if we stop this beautiful screen um, too short that I've got along the back of the pool, then you're going to be looking at a paling fence. So I'd like to talk to you about, um, you know, if we can extend that all the way down to the end of the pool. So this is a product that is um, it's on a board and, and then gets painted and has this beautiful texture. Outside, uh, you can see the um, inside the pool fenced area there. I've just I've now got this little small skillion roof. Now the nice thing is um, that is the, the the western side, and so later on in the afternoon that'll all be um, covered in shade anyway through there. Uh, and this is the fire pit area, which is now sitting over the easement. Like I keep saying, um, this is something that we would not put on our uh, construction drawings for 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 a building permit because it's just it's going to be really difficult to get. Um, I've wrapped the lawn, I've actually I've pushed the, um, the fire pit towards that corner just to give you more lawn space um, and that just allows you to pull that table and chairs out outdoors and, and perhaps I, where the lawn wraps around the paving I could possibly um, change that to, to, to a lightweight paving. Here's what it's going to look like with, with lights on and so looking out through the kitchen window we see the, the paling fence which I want to um, clad. Uh, but looking out over the pool and that seating area with the beautiful lights, I've got a combination of down lights and up lights going, through, on, going on through here and obviously the pool lights, um, you get multicoloured lights for the pool. But that, uh, that's going to be a fantastic uh, outlook. And I've done some uh, LED strip lighting on this timber screen. So have a look and uh, let me know what you think.